everyone. Today I'm sharing seven fashion trends that everyone loves, but I hate. Yeah, and contrary to what you might think, this actually is in fact a very positive and happy channel. And, and I've done similar videos to this in the past. And, and you know, I've said like, oh, I, I hate these, don't wear them, they look bad, Blah. This actually is completely different. I, these, these trends are totally fine. You can wear them. I just hate them. So I thought it would be fun, maybe interesting. You'll probably disagree with me, but that makes it more fun. So let's get started with the first one, which is vests. Yes, just vests. Basically any vest out there. And I scoured my closet and my basement uh, and I found one. Here it is. And it's a really nice vest. Like if you wanna wear this, <laughs> great. That's awesome. I hate it still. I'd, okay, this is the thing. Like this particular vest, for example, it's super high quality. Like I actually quite like how it's a, a military green. I really love this color. I like the, the orange details. It's kind of like an athletic, cool, uh, you know, vest. You could wear some leggings and some sneakers and you're gonna look good when you, when you go run those errands, you know, to the bank, yeah. To me, it's just one of those trends that I never reach for it because it serves no purpose for me. I am either cold, I'm basically just always cold. It's just an extra layering piece, which I'm all about layers and, you know, looking fashionable. So you would think that I would love this, right? Yet I just, I don't like them. Number two is fitness watches. Yes. And this is very opposite of the last one because this actually does serve a purpose. It's actually very productive to have a fitness watch, not only for your health, your heart rate monitoring, your steps, you can respond to text messages and emails. Like I understand why people want them. It just looks bad in my opinion. Like you're, you have like a really nice outfit and then you have like this completely opposite aesthetic fitness watch on your arm like 24 seven. Most of these trends, I literally have no suggestion for you, uh, but this one I do. So many of you know, I am a Victoria Emerson partner. So when this video goes live, she's having another one of her sales where it's up to 25% off. Correction, everything is up to 45% off, which is clearly better. So I'm gonna link everything below. But the reason I wanted to mention it is because, you know, if you do have a fitness watch, she has strap options that really kind of conceal the head of the watch and then it looks really stylish. So this is um, a boho cuff version and I love this because it kind of just looks like a lot of bracelets on your arm, but it's all connected with a magnetic closure and it just makes it really easy to put on and off. She also has the wrap bracelet options for the fitness watches. So um, I think this one is just really, really pretty. It reminds me of this wrap bracelet that I am wearing right now. Again, Victoria Emerson, I love her wrap bracelet. Uh, there's so many different color options. I'm very partial to neutral. And then as far as just like the regular boho cuffs, this is my favorite. It's called the Luca. And again, it's just like instant arm candy. It's so beautiful. She also has gold jewelry. I believe that never really goes on sale, but I do just have a, a withstanding code. It's just 20 Shea Whitney, and you can always save 20% on the gold jewelry. But like I said, I'll have it all listed and linked down below in the description box. Just take advantage of of that sale because you can definitely save some money. Number three, Burberry scarves. I know, why? I, I don't even, I don't even know. Like they're totally classic. They're totally classic. Uh, they're fine, they're great. I think they, they, they probably look good. Um, this is why I don't like them. Or actually I hate them. Okay, I don't hate them. Do I hate them? Maybe, I don't know. They just are so, so overdone everywhere. Like you can go to TJ Maxx, you can find a fake Burberry scarf. You can go to Walmart, you can find a fake Burberry scarf. Like to me, Burberry scarves and just like the replicas out there that literally look identical, it's just abundant. You know, there's there's replicas everywhere with every design, shoe, handbag, anything, wallets, whatever. But the darn Burberry scarves. <laughs> It's just like rampant. I think that has caused me to just not like it at all. So I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. I, I, I always say this, I need to stop apologizing. It's okay. Oh my God. I have one. I. This, this is what I mean. They're, they're everywhere. My house included. Oh, hey, I'm just, I'm getting kind of cold in here, so I'm just gonna wear this cardigan, but like leave it down over my, I'm just gonna wear it like this. Yeah, that's number, that's number four. And, and I, I know, okay.
We're back to making fun of me. I've actually taken thumbnail photos of like this before. I can just insert one now. <laughs> yeah, no one actually wears their cardigans like this, okay? I don't understand this trend, but again, we can make fun of me because I've definitely, like I've taken photos with it and I don't know what it is about your shoulder. Like, I, I, you know, I kind of think it's cute, but at the same time, when you just take a step back and you look at yourself, like what the heck is going on here? Wear your darn cardigan like normal. Yeah, so that leads me to number five. And I'm actually not cold, so I'm, I'm gonna take this off. Okay, so number five is kind of along the same lines, believe it or not. This is the fashion trend of just wearing your winter coat, just draped casually on your shoulders, as if you just like, you forgot I was there. Which again, like I know, I know, I have mentioned in prior videos that if you wanna look chic and sophisticated and elevated, you can just, you know, drape your coat on the back of your shoulders. And I know why people think this is cool. It's because, you know, the really stylish Instagrammers out there, probably not me, even though I'm pretty sure that I did do this before. Um, but I see a lot of, you know, fashionable people doing this. Um, but I just, I wonder if as soon as their photographer is done taking the photo that they don't just actually put that coat on because it's cold, it's cold. And I just find it hard to believe that people do walk from point A to point B to their destination just with a coat hanging off the back of their shoulders. I could be wrong, I don't know, comment down below. Moving right along. So, you know, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, none of these trends are technically wrong. Like, I, they're fine, but I just don't like them and I don't know why. And it's, it's the next one's peep toe heels. Why? I don't know. They just make me mad. It's, it's almost like that that joy method of like purging your clothes. Like if you like look at something and it makes you feel an emotion, you should like toss it if it's like a bad emotion. But if it makes, if it brings you joy, you should keep it, put it back in your closet. I don't know what it is about peep toe heels. They make me mad inside. <laughs> Maybe have a foot fetish, but like an opposite. Like, I think I just don't like feet. I think that's what it is. I'm so far from a foot fetish. It's like the feet make me mad. And it's almost just like, they're like peeking out, like we're here, but like full on sandals, they're, they're great. I mean, we've committed to showing the foot, but like peep toes, it's just like a little nagging thing down there on your foot. So have you seen the Netflix show Bridgerton? Have you? If you did, if you did, give this video a thumbs up. Yeah, like now, just thumbs it up. You know, Netflix, it was like one of like the most popular shows of all time. So maybe this video will get lots of thumbs up. That show, I watched it. I actually really did enjoy it. Um, it gets a little spicy, a little spicy, probably maybe too spicy, but it was very entertaining for me nonetheless. That sounded weird. But the costumes in that show has just inspired the fashion trends of this year. I mean, I am seeing so many darn Bridgerton dresses on so many different store websites. Like they're everywhere. And to me, I just don't love it. I don't know, they just look like costumes to me. And I, and I love kind of like different ruffles or puff sleeves. Like I love like elements of this trend being woven into shirts or skirts or dresses. Like that's great. But like I'm seeing like full on costume looking dresses and it's just not for me. But again, who cares what I think? So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And I'll also have the Victoria Emerson uh, bracelets and such linked down below. There's a sale going on for that. But otherwise, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.